Spinosaurus is the largest carnivorous dinosaur to ever live, best known for its huge sail and is almost as popular as the T-Rex. It only appeared in Jurassic Park 3, but it's uncertain if it will appear in future movies, walking on four legs. In this video, we will explore 10 interesting facts about this fearsome giant. So let's begin. Number 10. It was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs of all time. Today, no complete Spinosaurus skeletons have been discovered. And due to this, the size of Spinosaurus is one of the most hotly contested subjects, with weights ranging from 7 to 21 tons and length estimates ranging between 41 to 50 feet long. But the general consensus holds that a maximum weight of 9 metric tons and a length of 45 feet is far more likely. Number 9. Spinosaurus was chosen as the villain in Jurassic Park 3 because of its unique look. As mentioned earlier, Spinosaurus appeared in Jurassic Park 3 and even engaged in battle with the T-Rex, which definitely never happened in the history of Earth. A lot of dinosaurs have a very similar silhouette to the T-Rex, said director Joe Johnston, who had been looking for a new reptilian antagonist to replace Tyrannosaurus in the third film. And we wanted the audience to instantly recognize this as something else. Number 8. Spinosaurus had spines over 5 feet tall. Very tall neural spines growing on the back vertebrae of Spinosaurus form the basis of what is usually called the animal's sail. It's likely Spinosaurus's sail served primarily as a sexual display, but it may secondarily have functioned as a cooling mechanism, a storage place for fat deposits, or a rudder. Until more fossil specimens are discovered, we may never know the answer for sure. Number 7. Spinosaurus wasn't the only sailback dino. Oranosaurus was a majestic African herbivore, complete with a series of similar-looking spines. In addition, an enigmatic beast by the name of Dinochirus appears to have possessed a sail too. And let's not forget Dimitrodon, which wasn't even a dinosaur. Number 6. Paleoartists drew his head wrong for almost 80 years. Dinosaur drawings have fairly short shelf lives, at least in the accuracy department. Until some groundbreaking new discoveries were made in the 90s and noughties, paleontologists didn't have access to Spinosaurus skull material. Some well-preserved spino remains had been found nearly eight decades earlier, but they didn't include a head. So, artists gave it a T-Rex head for most of the 20th century. We now know that Spinosaurus looked more crocodilian, possessing a long, narrow snout. Number 5. The best Spinosaurus fossils were destroyed in World War II. In 1944, the most complete collection of Spinosaurus remains discovered so far were obliterated by the British Royal Air Force. 32 years earlier, they had been sent to German paleontologist Ernst Freiherr Stromer von Reichenbach, who resided in Munich. Unfortunately, Stromer's outspoken anti-Nazi sentiments doomed the fossils he cherished, as Third Reich officials refused to let him move his collection to a safe place during the Second World War, and the museum that housed them was later bombed amidst an RAF raid. Number 4. One of its close relatives was named Irritator Challengeri by frustrated paleontologists. In 1995, a team of scientists purchased the skull of an unknown dinosaur from a Brazilian fossil poacher. It turns out that this dishonest man had dipped the skull in a thick layer of car body filler to make his find look bigger than it actually was. As you can imagine, the scientists spent hours trying to remove the substance to study the actual bones. Hence the name, Irritator. Number 3. Spinosaurus has been featured on various international postage stamps. If you are a stamp collector, you'll definitely want these in your collection. The governments of Angola, Tajikistan, Liberia, and Guyana featured Spinosaurus on their stamps. Some of these drawings are certainly outdated. Number 2. Spinosaurus had a varied diet. Most people believe that Spinosaurus was a weak-jawed aquatic dino, snagging fishy treats from the North African mangroves that roamed 97 million years ago, like an overgrown heron, mainly due to its mouth full of long crocodile-like teeth. 
But a 2013 paper argues that its diet would have been more varied since the animal's jaws were imperfectly designed for grappling fish, at least compared to a modern alligator's. Spinosaurus probably ate smaller landbound dinosaurs too. And number one, Spinosaurus may have walked on all fours. Based on the proportions of their new reconstruction, Ibrahim and co-authors suggest that Spinosaurus must have walked on all fours while on land. This looks intuitive given the heavy arms and comparatively puny legs of the new Spinosaurus. Although future reconstructions and biomechanical analysis could contradict the image of Spinosaurus as a paddling four on the floor dinosaur. Thank you for watching Mega Top Tens. If you have any ideas for a dinosaur themed video, please let us know in the comments below and we might make it. Goodbye.